Hi, I'm Brandon. TestRightAluminum.com gives you the tools you need to build your own custom telescopic tubing assemblies. Today we're going to focus on a round telescopic tubing assembly. We can start at the round telescopic tubing compatible page on the website. Let's start with the tubing diameter. Pick your largest diameter, then go down the chart to select the next sizes down. Keep in mind that the more pieces or sections your tubing assembly has, the more compact you'll be able to telescope your tube down when closed. However, this makes it less rigid and more expensive. For this demonstration, we'll build a custom telescopic tube 8 foot long in 3 sections. I've chosen 1 inch as our largest tube, so that means we'll also use a 7 8 inch and a 3 quarter quarter inch. To make sure we have good overlap between each section, I had each tube cut to 36 inches long. Next we'll pick a lock. Using the chart, we'll need a 1 inch to 7 8 inch and a 7 8 inch to 3 quarter inch lock. With those sizes in mind, let's choose our lock style. Our B locks and L locks are most popular for DOI projects. We'll go with our B split collar locks for this example, though we have other great options as well. Great, now let's put those together to form a telescopic pole. To start our assembly, we're going to take our 1 inch diameter tube and we're going to take our 1 inch to 7 8 lock, loosen it attach it to the pole and then tighten it on. Be sure to tighten it on, but not to over tighten. You don't want to strip the screw on the lock. Next, we're going to take our 7 8 inch diameter tube and do the same thing. To finish up our assembly, we're going to take the 3 quarter inch diameter tube and the 7 8 that we just put the lock on and insert the smaller one into the larger. Then we're going to take the two we just worked on and put it inside the 1 inch tube with the lock. And there you have it, fast, easy, and great locking power. In addition to the B-split car lock, I also have with me an assembly with the L lever lock. This is great for one-handed use, and like the B-lock, it also secures with a screw to the tube. Also, I have here a G-snap lock assembly. This is a little different than the other two assemblies you've seen so far, where you have to glue the lock to the outside of the tube, but it's also great for one-handed operation. You can find videos for both the L lever lock and the G-snap lock on our YouTube channel. At TestRite Aluminum, we also have a wide variety of other accessories that you can use to augment your telescopic tubing assemblies. We have a square base and a round base. Now, these are both with the welded stem, and what you can do with these, use them to install the threaded connectors that we sell. Thread one on, take the tube that that threaded connector is for, and you can just hammer it on. Be careful not to damage the tube when hammering in the threaded connector. You can use a rubber mallet to lessen the impact on the tube. Once you unscrew it, you can see that we have the threaded connector installed. Now you can use this in a wide variety of applications, one of which is using it to attach to our bases. We have a wide variety of tubing sizes, and with that we have a wide variety of adapters, threaded connectors for those sizes. So please be sure that when you're purchasing the threaded connectors, you buy the correct one for the tube that you're looking for. In addition to the round telescopic tubing assembly that we just made, you can also do the same with our square aluminum tubing. You can also use that with our round base, and then we also have a square base, and that can be used to make a stand or whatever else you can think of. With your tube fully assembled, let's go over some of the wide variety of accessories that we have that you can use to add onto your pole. Here's a 7 8 inch rubber crutch tip, and you can just slip it on the top of the pole. This is great for two reasons. Number one is that it has slip resistance when used with an assembly that is going on the floor as well. It is great to stop the pole from falling into the assembly. As well, we have our flat black plastic end caps, and you can install it just by inserting it at the end of the pole and pushing down. And this is also great for assemblies that need the end of the tube closed or to stop the inner tubes from falling out of the larger ones. And there you have it. That's how you make a DIY telescopic tubing assembly. If you have any questions, feel free to call. 99% chance that I'm going to be one answering the phone. So I'm sure you'll be happy to hear a familiar voice. If you want quantities one or more of any of the parts you've seen in this video, as well as cut to size tubing, please visit testrightaluminum.com. If you're looking for custom assemblies, made in quantities of 25 or more, please visit testrightoem.com and put in an RFQ. We'd be happy to hear from you.